Good afternoon, friends. This is Sergey Kromchenko from Los Angeles, California. Still live here and work as an engineering manager of SDAT. Still have eight years of experience. And today we are continuing talking about money. Specifically, why the hell in a world I've lost $20,000 and how did I lose them by being young and dumb? But we're gonna talk about it in a second. And also let's talk about how are you not going to lose $20,000 and learn from my mistake because now you're gonna know that you do need to sign up for stock options. Let's make it happen. So topic number one, how could it be so dumb to lose $20,000? Before I tell you that, please make sure you're not as dumb as I was that time and you do hit the like and the subscribe button below so other people could see this guy on YouTube as well. So how could I be so dumb? That was back in 2014, I think when I got my second or third job in a startup that was not public. It was a financial startup, but no one pretty much in the world knew about it. And they offered me to get a portion of my salary in the form of stocks. They gave me like 10% of the salary in, uh, in the stock options, which means the 10% of the salary would come in the form of some virtual documents, which I would sign and would say, hey, this guy every month is going to get like 500 uh, stocks or 500 shares of the company, which I will purchase for, I think it was like 25 cents per share. So now the, imagine that this company would worth $500 per share. Then I would buy it for five uh, for 25 cents. Now it's $500 per one share. So that's quite a difference, right? 25 cents and 500 bucks. That's a lot of money, right? So that time I did agree for it. For the first time in my life, I was like, okay, give me shares. I'm agreed. Give me 10% of shares and 90% of cash all over my place. It happened. I worked for a company for four months. Company, company ran out of money. And I, until now, I paid for... Uh, for like a couple of thousands of shares. So I spent a couple hundred bucks on those shares and I got nothing because company did not go public, company read out of money. Then uh, two years after, I started working for another company which was already public. But I was so sad, I was so mad and dumb uh, at the previous situation where the company ran out of money and I didn't make anything. So the company that I worked for that day offered me like, okay, we're gonna give you so your salary 100% plus we're gonna give you some shares. I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, that's awesome. But I never signed the paper. I never agreed to accept those shares. And if I would, I would make $20,000 in like two years, just because within, within two years, I would get as much shares as $20,000 would be worth. So then I made one of the biggest financial mistakes in my life and I just did not sign up for free thing the company was giving to me. So topic number two. Now I want to make sure that you guys never make the same mistake. Whenever a company offers you some shares or stock options as they call, they don't simply give, number one, they don't give you shares for free. They, uh, they offer you to buy those shares. That's why it's called stock options. It's an option to buy a stock. So make sure the price is fair, make sure it's, uh, if the company is not public yet, if a company doesn't make much money, make sure you get them almost for free, for like 25 cents or 10 cents, that's not much. But if company is public, make sure you do accept that option and make sure you do buy them as soon as possible because the comp if the company is public, company is growing and also make sure that a company is growing. If the company has been going down, declining and you accept to work for them, and you, they ask you, hey, you wanna get 100% cash or do you wanna get some stock options? Probably you better be, uh, you'd be better off with the cash because the company is declining and they're making less and less money and the shares worth less and less. So if you buy 10,000 shares now and you pay, let's say, 10 bucks, in five years you still work for the company and the shares worth five bucks, you lost half of your money, right? That's dumb. So make sure you do your due diligence and verify the company is successful, that stock worth the money that they're offering you and make sure that you do sign up for it. And also, as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our Instagram and a Telegram channel where we share much more information about the stocks, uh, about the shares of the company that you can possibly get, and about all the other information and the topics we go through at the YouTube. I want to thank you one more time. You guys have a wonderful day.